what do you do if you've got some large gaps on your baseboards here? Now, as you can see, this gap is massive. It's probably close to a quarter inch there. And then around the whole baseboard here, we have gaps on each joint. We're gonna go ahead and fill those in. Now, I did hire somebody to do this and they got the baseboards on. However, now I've got these large gaps that I have to fill. And before I go ahead and replace the baseboards, I'm gonna fill the gaps and see what it looks like. So for that, it's a pretty simple process, patch and paint spackle and a putty knife. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing that I do, of course, is I taped everything. I uh, put the tape really close to the baseboards and then I used the putty knife and I pressed it underneath so I can get really rowdy with my spackle here so I'm not worrying about getting it on the newly installed floor here as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up my spackle and then I'm just using my finger here and I'm gonna get a generous amount and I'm just gonna really start filling the gap there. I really wanna get a good amount in there so it fills in the crack there. And then of course, we'll do the same thing on the nail holes. Just put a little dollop on the nail holes and fill her up. Cool, so once I've got it filled, I'll just scrape the spackle off my fingers here. What I wanna do is use my putty knife and scrape to create a nice flat surface. There we go. So that's it for that one. I can go ahead and let that dry and then move on and do the same thing to each of the existing cracks as we go. Filling in the nail holes and sliding across. So that is it for kind of filling everything in. Now I just need to wait 30 minutes for it to dry. Then we can go ahead and paint everything and make it look nice. All right, so it is dry. Uh, it's actually been a whole day, so 24 hours. Next thing I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of sandpaper and then paint it. Then go ahead and finish painting everything as needed. I used a brush, then I finished it off with the roller for a clean look. After everything was dry, I went ahead and ran a bead of caulking between the baseboard and the wall to finish everything off. And that's it. As you can see, the finished product here looks pretty good. No more massive gap there. So that's how I went ahead and filled a gap there in a baseboard. If you like DIY around the house stuff, please feel free to check out some of my other videos or like and subscribe. Again, my name is Drew. I'll see you in the next one.